a wonderful thing you did last year, ignoring what you were being told, you know, irrespective of who was telling you, ignoring it and going out to Syria yourself. Tell us, Senator, what did you find when you arrived in Syria as opposed to what you might have expected to find? Well, I had studied uh, Syria intensively for about six years, and it all began with the, the, with the uh, unprovoked invasion of Libya. And I thought, what are, we, what are we after? What are we trying to do? And that led to the fact that we were seizing the huge supply of, uh, of military weapons in Libya in order to ship them to, to Turkey and then across the border into Syria, where we would send mercenaries and terrorists from around the globe uh, and we would train them, we would arm them to topple the Syrian government, which was very popular with the Syrian people. And uh, so I knew that when I went in. But what I really had was confirmation from people um, uh, because they were telling me things that I knew already. And it always helps to double check your intelligence when you're doing this. But I did find that the uh, there is an overwhelming degree of support for President al-Assad, uh, which was demonstrated uh, by uh, by uh, fair and that the uh, there is an overwhelming degree of support for President al Assad, uh, which was demonstrated uh, by uh, by uh, fair and free elections in 2014, which the West promptly disregarded, uh, which was demonstrated uh, by uh, by uh, fair and free elections in 2014, which the West promptly disregarded as just not significant. And uh, uh, he, if, if you think of it, this is a country of 23 million people that has been attacked by two thirds of, of the world. All the world's great economic powers, except for China and Russia, have attacked them. NATO, the UK, the United States, France, all of the Gulf states uh, have flooded jihadists. And yet here is a little country of 23 million uh, that has stood by its president uh, he still travels around Syria with rather sparse um, uh, security. It, it's a little bit frightening when you when you realize it. And he he has the total support of the of the uh, Syrian government, the Syrian army, and the Syrian people. And that's what I saw everywhere that I went. And one of the things that most offends Syrians is the way that Westerners uh, parse. The, the various terrorists, and what we call them this group and that group. Basically what you have is two variations of Al-Qaeda. They both stem from Al-Qaeda, one being ISIS, one being the Al-Qaeda and all of its uh, allied terrorists. But there are no moderates. That's a myth. It has always been a myth. This is a, this is a war of terrorism launched by the West and by uh, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, and Qatar against uh, the sovereign independent nation of Syria. What was